In today's video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to put down grass seed, and these tips can work in a larger lawn or a smaller space like this, and you can even use them for spot repair in your existing grass. You will need some basic tools for this job, starting with a rake, along with a rotary spreader, sometimes called a broadcast spreader, and this is fine for a small to a medium sized space. But if you've got a really small space, you can actually use one of these hand spreaders. These are inexpensive and they do a great job at spreading material out over a smaller area. Next, you need to select a type of grass seed for your lawn. Now, if you've already got a favorite, just stick with it. But for me, I always use Black Beauty Ultra by Jonathan Green. And grass seed has improved a lot over the years and it's really difficult to make a bad choice. And since this is a new area, I wanted to try something completely new. And the people who make the product my soil test had sent me this bag of grass seed, so this seemed like a perfect chance to try it out. And the most important thing on the bag is gonna tell you how many square feet you can cover with the bag. Now new lawns are gonna require more seed than if you were just overseeding. And if you do in a medium to a larger size space, you can match the settings on the bag to the adjustments on your rotary spreader. And for a smaller area, it's even easier. I'm just gonna fill this handheld spreader up with seed, set the adjustment dial about halfway, and that should be just fine to seed the area. When you put down new grass seed, you're gonna to wanna to fertilize it right away. In fact, I normally fertilize the seed the same day that I put it down, but don't just buy any type of fertilizer. You wanna look for what's called a starter fertilizer. Now here we've got a good one called New Lawn Starter, and this is specifically formulated for brand new grass seed. And here are two other types of lawn fertilizer. This one's a synthetic, and this other one is a completely organic product. Now these are both fine for your lawn, but not when it's brand new. When you're putting in that new lawn, be sure to use the starter fertilizer, and then you can switch over to one of these about eight weeks after the grass has started growing. The first step is to prepare your area for your new lawn. Now if your existing dirt is pretty good, you might not have to do much of anything. But for me, I brought in about two to three inches of good quality loam, and then I went ahead and leveled it out. If you haven't watched my video on doing this, I'll link it in the upper right hand corner that can make leveling your lawn a lot easier. Now we're ready to put down our seed. Now you could use that broadcast spreader if you've got a larger space, but since this one is smaller, I'm just gonna use the handheld model. And using this handheld spreader is really easy. I just set the dial to about halfway, squeeze the trigger while you're spinning the handle and walking. And that seed is just gonna come flying out the outside and just move around to try to spread it evenly. And when you're using a handheld spreader, it's never gonna be completely even, but it doesn't matter because in the next step, we're gonna grab our rake and we're gonna brush the seed into the dirt lightly. Now what you're doing here is really important because you're helping that seed get embedded into the soil just a little bit. And this is what they call seed to soil contact. And this is critical to help that grass seed germinate. But when you're raking it around like this, you're also helping even everything out. And now we're ready to put down our starter fertilizer. And you wanna begin by looking at the directions on the back of the bag. Now you're always gonna get excited if your spreader is listed on the bag of fertilizer, but oftentimes it's not. So just look for this number here where it says 3.6 pound rate. That means you're putting down 3.6 pounds of fertilizer per thousand square feet. Now if you look at the directions that came with any spreader, you're gonna get a cheat sheet like this. And you can see that column that says pounds per square foot. And you're looking for that 3.6 pound mark that we saw on the bag. So all we have to do is go down that guide and look for 3.6 pounds, but you don't see it. So you can see three and four. So 3.6 is about halfway. And you can see on my spreader, that's gonna be between the settings of 14 and 16 which means that we're gonna set this lawn box spreader to 15 to get the correct application of fertilizer. Now just loosen the thumb screw on your spreader, move the dial until it gets to 15, and then lock it in by tightening that screw. Before you pour that fertilizer into the spreader, make sure you close the hopper, because if you don't, that little door is gonna be open, and as soon as you pour in the bag, it's gonna go all over your grass. Now you can pour your fertilizer into the hopper, go ahead and open the door and start walking as you're pushing your spreader to put your fertilizer down. Now you could go ahead and use that smaller hand spreader even for fertilizer, but it is difficult to get a precise adjustment. Now with grass seed, that's not a big deal, but with fertilizer, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and put down a much lighter amount. The most important step to putting in a new lawn is to water it properly. Now once you're done with your fertilizer and your seed, go ahead and water the space but you need to remember that you must water it every day and not just one time. I can't tell you exactly how many times a day to water because it's your job to keep an eye on the space. If it's brutally hot outside, you may need to water three to four times every day, even if it's just for a few minutes. 
but the goal is to keep an eye on the space so that it remains wet as much of the day as possible and it's going to make sure your grass seedlings will sprout and grow. Now you're generally going to see growth between 7 and 21 days and at that point you can begin to reduce the watering and you should be able to mow your new lawn at about 6 to 8 weeks. There are many different methods for putting in a new lawn, but I found that this is the cheapest and easiest way to get in some really great results without a lot of fuss. And hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.